Pomperau Art and Culture Center, Incorporated. I am an arts and culture person. I'm a professional artist by trade. I always wanted to live in a community and experience it, and I really had no idea where I was going and what was going to happen. It's a new beginning, like, inspires me a lot. So the art, it's really important. So every art we do, it's the stories, song lines, and a land. Beach, um, culture. We've got a strong culture here. Some sacred places we've got here. And like most important, we've got crabs and barrels that families go out. Everything we do, it's about the place where we grow up. It's uh, sometimes we listen to the sounds, listen to the music, song lines and everything, spice the rhythm in the heart. And the ghost net stuff, we were making baskets. It was the very beginning. And we started making sculptures. Um, and then it just took off. And the, the ghost net has taken us all over the world and made us pretty famous. We had a show at the United Nations building in New York City launching the campaign, year-long campaign, uh, defending the Earth's oceans. So first you have the environmental educational message of uh, teaching people how commercial fishermen just throw their nets over the side when they're damaged, and how they continue to float, killing fish and marine life for no purpose. And I think the art is fun you know, and entertaining. We were just in Marie Claire magazine. Supposedly we're going to be in Vogue magazine on the cover because it's, we do wearable art now. You, you might have seen the cover on Tropic magazine a while back with the crazy crab hat. And we're also printers and painters and all this, you know. Um, no, oh, it's out there. It's pretty well known. It's probably more well known outside of Pomperau than inside Pomperau. If you want to help people, you have to empower people. You need to give them resources. The more resources you give them, the greater motivation you give them. And ideally, you help one people, one person, and they become a role model for another person, particularly the youth. And that way, it's carried through the generations. But as a person who's here every day working, we have our ups and downs. You know, we have the challenges, the same as everywhere else in the world. But this is the only export industry in the community. And um, it's highly supported by many people. And we do far more than just make artwork, as you know, through our publications, our book writing which I think are more important than artwork we sell because it's cultural and language maintenance. We've uh, published five books, and they are very proud to be in the book. Contributors are listed in the book. It's in every classroom. I've always been a believer in Kayef. I've always appreciated Kayef, and without doubt, Kayef has made many opportunities for us. You know, the ghost net got launched at KIF, the ghost net artwork. And, and the artwork we have at this year's KIF, even though it's online, I would say is probably our best. There's two pieces covered in coral. They found the coral on the beach and they dried it out and painted it and uh, pretty special. I'm hopeful that the next new generations will come and get involved because that's what it's about. It's about building a future for the youth, the next ones coming up. I think it's uh, positive with the people. We'll see. Well, thank you for coming here, and I hope uh, people online uh, learning about KIF and shopping on KIF, I just want you to say, you know, your business, your collecting artwork is really important to all the art centers, not just this one.